This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Things have got a lot easier after the addition of Wi-Fi connectivity in Raspberry Pi Pico and now it is called Raspberry Pi Pico W. Today for the first time you will see how easily Raspberry Pi Pico W can be connected with the UV Dots IoT platform for monitoring any type of sensor. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the Max 6675 Mario and the KTAP thermocouple. The way we have been programming the Node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module using the Arduino IDE. Now, the same exact way we can also program the Raspberry Pi Pico W using the Arduino IDE. I have already explained this in my previous videos in which I used Raspberry Pi Pico W with Adafruit I.O. and ThinkSpeak. And I used Arduino IDE for programming the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So I highly recommend you guys should watch my previous videos because I have explained things in quite a detail. Anyway, before I'm going to explain how to set up your UV Dots dashboard and how to interface Max 6675 with Raspberry Pi Pico W, First, let's watch the Raspberry Pi Pico W and UV Dots IoT platform based temperature monitoring system in action. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect, and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share, and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected the Max 6675 module and the KTAP thermocouple as per the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. I have powered up the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Right now, the laptop and the Raspberry Pi Pico W both are connected with the same Wi-Fi. But if you want, you can use different Wi-Fi networks. Anyway, its working is very simple. Raspberry Pi Pico W reads the temperature and sends the temperature reading to the UV Dots IoT platform where the temperature value is displayed on the thermometer widget. It takes time to update the value. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Sun Founder and Amazon. The purchase links are given in the description. 
Connect the VCC and ground pins of the MAX 6675 module with the Raspberry Pi Pico W 3.3V and ground pins. And connect the SCK, CS and SO pins of the MAX 6675 module with the Raspberry Pi Pico W GPIO pins 13, 14 and 15 respectively. Now let's go ahead and start with the UV Dots IoT platform. Login into your UV Dots account. Open API credentials. Copy the token. Open the program which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description and paste this link. We need to do this first as we want the Raspberry Pi Pico W and the temperature variable to appear in UV dots. For this we will need to upload the program. Make sure your Wi-Fi router or hotspot is on because once the program is uploaded Raspberry Pi Pico W will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi. The program has been uploaded. Now let's go back to UV dots. You can see Raspberry Pi Pico W has been added as a device in UV dots. Now if you click on this device, you will see temperature variable name and the temperature reading which is 30 degrees Celsius. Now you are free to use this temperature variable throughout UV dots. Anyway, go to the data menu and click on the dashboards. Click on add new widget. Select thermometer or any other widget as per your needs. Click on add variables. Click on Raspberry Pi Pico W which has been added as a device. And select the temperature variable. A thermometer has been added. You can see change in temperature reading is right now I am applying some heat. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. As usual, before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries. You can watch my getting started video on the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module because this Wi-Fi library is from there. To install the Mix 6675 library, simply go to the Sketch menu, then to include library and click on Manage Libraries. Search for the Mix 6675. As you can see, I have already installed this library. These are the Wi-Fi credentials. This is the token. This is going to be the variable name and this is going to be the device name. Rest of the code is exactly the same. You can watch my getting started videos on the UV dots. I have used it with Node MCO ESP8266 and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. So that's all about the programming. Now let's watch the Raspberry Pi Pico and UV dots IoT platform based temperature monitoring system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.